Hi guys, it's Xenoland here and today I'll make a video on how to not get banned on Black Ops 1.18 on PlayStation 3. First thing first, um, you wanna download the files in the description, uh, one's called PSM patch 2.30 stealth and one's called um, anti-ban eboot, uh, yeah. So uh, once you have the files, I'm assuming you all already have multi-man on your PlayStation 3, you wanna go to package manager and then install PSM patch 2.30 stealth it should look something like this uh, once you've done that just go to multi-man and um, FTP into your um, PlayStation 3 so I'll boot it up right now and wait till it's loaded you need to use the anti-ban eboot uh, in the game so I'll explain you how to do that yeah, I'm on that. Uh, so connect your PlayStation 3 local IP. Uh, for me, it's 192.168.137.52, but for you, it can be something completely different. So connect to it. Uh, go to dev hg0 game bles 01717. Uh, this is for the uh, region. Oh, this is for my region code. Uh, it can happen that yours 1718 or another something. Just find out what your Black Ops, what your Black Ops 2, uh, what your Black Ops 2 region code is. For me, it's this one, so I'm gonna click it. Uh, go to user there, and here's where the nice stuff comes in. So in the folder I've uploaded, there's a file called uh, the bug eboot and CX eboot. So debug eboot is for DX, you can only use it on DX. Um, I'm using DX rebug 4.46.1 and I spoofed it. So just if you're on DX, you should know that you need to use the debug eboot if you're on CX, just use the eboot for a region code. So if you have a CX console, um, look in the file for the, uh, whoa, nice error message. Wait, uh, yeah. Okay, so go to the corresponding region code for the eboot. So once that, if I were to go in the folder, I will go to CX eboots and then bless BLES 101717 and then just find the eboot.bin in it. And then um, for DX, it's a debug eboot, it can be any region. So if you're on 1717 or 1718 it doesn't matter just drag it in drop it in here I'll drop it in here if you can see the bytes are the same and everything uh, it's the anti banny boot once you've done that uh, you wanna go to let me check um, what's it called again I think BLES80608 uh, go to it go to user there no, no, it's not this one, wait, go to, I think, um, BLES01876, if it's not this one, it's another one, <laughs> yep, not this one, go to BLGS, uh, let me check, yep, it's this one, uh, once you've installed PSM patch, it'll create a file called, uh, on your hard drive, uh, BLGS, 10018 go into user uh, right click default bint dot cfg open it with notepad and you can put in your console id and ps id i'm not going to do that as my console id and ps id are private um so once you've done that back out of it doesn't well, you don't even need to back out of it uh close close uh filezilla and then you want to go to multi-man multi-man and then choose to quit multi-man um, yep if you close filezilla it doesn't matter it will automatically say that it will automatically close without the message um, so wait till it is booted up again uh, if your black ops 2 is on your hard drive and not on a disk you can just mount the game uh, via multi-man with the eboot 
Uh, then you want to go to PSM patch 2.30 stealth. I'm going to back out of it because you can see my console ID and PS ID. But uh, what you want to do is open it. Uh, and once it says um, your console ID and PS ID you've put in and your current ones, uh, press X and X will spoof your console ID and PS ID and disable CFW syscalls so they won't uh, so they won't detect you as a CFW user it uh, will spoof it so you won't um, be that noticeable when you're playing uh, so I'm at the screen right now I'm gonna press X and you should hear three beeps I don't know if you're gonna hear through this mic but I'll try to be quiet so I'm gonna press in 3, 2, 1. I don't know if you heard it, I hope you heard it. So if it doesn't beep 3 times real fast, uh, it means it hasn't patched it correctly or didn't disable or didn't do something correctly. So uh, what you wanna do then, once you've pressed X on PSM patch, um, you wanna go to Black Ops 2, start it up. Now wait for it to load. Um, also, you don't need to, if you think this, but you don't need to put in the eboot and the console ID and PS ID every time, just do it once. And uh, then just launch PSM patch 2.30 stealth, uh, press X to disable CFW syscalls, and um, then you'll want to boot up Black Ops 2. So once you've done the, all the steps I've told you, Next time you restart your system, just only do PSM patch, patch 2.30 stealth. Um, so once you're at the main menu, you want to press the PlayStation Home button to sign in from X and B. Uh, don't sign in from Play Online because you will freeze. Also, there's an anti-ban, so if you're already banned on that account, it won't matter. It doesn't. It won't work. I mean, so make a new account and log in. Uh, if you don't log in from a new account, if you log in from an account that's already been banned, you will freeze. Uh, so, once you've done that, just wait for it to sign in. Um, and stay at the XMW, uh, well, XMB menu uh, loading till it stops lagging. And uh, if you see it stops lagging, wait a few moments more because it can lag a bit after it also. Once you can scroll completely, completely through everything and things not lagging and store popped up underneath options on a Black Ops 2, close the XMB, but sometimes it closes automatically, uh, and then click play online, and you should be online without any bans. Um, what I want to tell you is uh, the things you can do to ensure you're not getting banned is use a console ID which is private use a PS ID a fully random one uh, or just use a used one but change like all the characters and numbers in random stuff um, and um, that's basically it um, so if you want to play another game uh, like if you have mounted Black Ops 2 with on multi-man and you did PSM patch 2.30 stealth you can't use multi-man till you reboot your PlayStation so just reboot it and then put in another game um, if you need to mount it if you have it on disc it doesn't matter you can just play it with the disc um, so that's basically it um, there was one more thing I want to tell you guys and that is that uh, ah, yeah. um, if you have PSM patch 2.30 stealth, oh no, wait, what was I gonna tell again? Um, oh yeah, I was just gonna say that if you reboot your PlayStation 3 and you um, wanna get anti ban again, just just use PSM patch, press X and boot up Black Ops 2. So every time you reboot your PlayStation 3 completely, like turn off the system, um, you need to run PSM patch again and press X again. And uh, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I'll try to I try to make it 
as clearly as possible but you gotta know that if you own a jailbreak that you need to know what you're doing if you don't really know it i would suggest you to not get a jailbreak um there are people who will help you but not that many and it's just nicer if you can use google because i know some people ask me all the time like how can i do this how can i do that mod and stuff but um if i wasn't using google i wouldn't even know most of stuff because Google is such a nice website, I don't know if you, any of you guys basically understands that, but I can find almost anything on Google. Just use it. Um, why do you need to ask someone a question and waste this time if you can just Google it and try it yourself? Because if you'll trial and error is the best step to practice and to learn, really learn. Because some people just like to be spoon fed and then get away with everything you know what I mean some people are out there also I've added force to my ghost tool so I'll put it in the description also if you want it's the same anti ban only with added force host I'm still not banned on ghost um, it's been like wait six weeks or something still not banned only reset nothing nothing really happened so I'm very happy hope you guys enjoyed this video this was Sino Legends so peace out and goodbye